My name is Roger Payne. I'm originally from the West Coast. Um, let's see, I've been an executive chef for 35 years. I lost my business here in Atlanta. I, it was established right before the Olympics. I worked here through the Olympics in 96. I was a uh, chef for Proof of the Pudding, the largest off-premise catering operation in Atlanta. I was an executive chef with Piedmont Driving Club, and I lived in Buckhead for 18 years. I was very comfortable, let's put it that way. Um, unfortunately, I had a seizure and woke up in the hospital. I was diagnosed. They weren't sure at first if it was a brain tumor or a lesion. It's turned out, fortunately, to be a brain lesion, which is kind of a form of brain cancer. So I can't work anymore. When did this happen? This happened about five years ago. Because I've been homeless since I lost my business, my catering operation. And I've opened restaurants for several people here in Atlanta. Four or five. Five restaurants now, I think about it. Um, I work as a consultant to assist people in the restaurant industry to go in and there and fix problems when they have them and that sort of thing, which I can't do anymore because of my condition. I had a seizure two weeks ago and was hospitalized at Northside Hospital and there was nowhere for me to go because I'm essentially homeless and have been since 02, 2002. And the only place that could take me was Task Force for the Homeless. So I came to Task Force Fortunately, that's when I met Valerie, and Valerie assisted me with getting into Salvation Army, and Salvation Army is also going to play, try and place me into a living existence, an apartment, as soon as possible. I'm on disability. I qualify for full-time disability from the federal government, SSDI, and um, that's one thing. Um, and. I will qualify for the housing benefit very soon. We're working on that now as we speak. Okay, um, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel when you had a very comfortable uh, lifestyle, uh, living in Buckhead area, having a great business, and then uh, all of a sudden find yourself in the streets of Atlanta, being homeless? Can you homeless. say culture shock? <laughs> yes, please talk about your experience. Yes, in the past the five years, you have gone through some changes in your some life. Some major league changes. I lost my M3 BMW. Um, I had to sell pretty much everything that I had except for most of my homewares, which I moved into an apartment. And it gets kind of rough after a while. I was living at the lodge on Buford Highway. Mm -hmm. and you had to uh, sell everything to take care of your living expenses or medical expenses? Both. Living expenses and medical expenses. And the stuff that was in my apartment at the lodge on Buford, it was a one bedroom apartment with my girlfriend. Um, they confiscated. When I went over there to pay outstanding rent of one week, which was only $209, which is not that much money to me. It is now. Now it might as well be $1,000. But at the time, I was like, I had lost my wallet, which I've reco since recovered, but I have my disability benefits d direct deposited to a MasterCard, debit card, and I had it shipped over there. And while I was waiting for it to show up, and I made arrangements with a manager over there, that when it got there, I would take care of that, the, the rent that was in arrears, which I intended to do, but I went over there to do it. But there was a different person working the desk. She had me arrested for trespassing, criminal trespassing, because I had no longer lived there, which I thought was just a little malicious. I mean, it's like, yeah, I was homeless, but I was paying my rent, and I had made arrangements with a guy. He said, as soon as the card shows up, yeah, we'll just take the card swipe the card, mm -hmm. accept your rent and everything, you'll be caught up, everything will be fine. But no, it didn't happen that way. She made okay. it not happen that way. So, tough being homeless. You don't catch many breaks. I was very lucky in running into Valerie. Very lucky. When, and did, when did you come to Task Force? I came to Task Force two weeks ago. Today being the 19th 
I was hospitalized in Northside Hospital because of this seizure problem I have. I have a brain lesion, my balance is off, my equilibrium is off, my memory is not as good as it used to be. I have, just, I have a bunch of problems. Uh, I, the way they put it to me, the doctor put it to me is, it's a neurological disorder because of the lesion. It's a trans, what it, neurotransmitters aren't working as well as they normally would, as they do in a normal person. And it creates a very large handicap for me. And <clears throat> so anyway, I slipped and fell, which happens to me quite often, um, unfortunately, and was hospitalized in Northside Hospital. And there was nowhere for me to go because I was homeless. So I came to task force, and that's when Valerie took over as my caseworker and really helped me out. She got me placed at... Um, Salvation Army and they're helping me to find a place to live for the disabled that I can afford on the disability income that I have right now. So how do you feel now overall? I mean, I'm much better How now. are you adjusting to your new situation? Slowly but surely. You know, you got to let try and land on your feet and do the best you can. Come out fighting. You know, it's tough. It's not easy being homeless in Atlanta. I've slept on sidewalks, I've slept on places I just didn't even want to talk about. I didn't even want to think about it. I was waiting for a night shelter to open up, the winter shelter to open up at Central Presbyterian Church downtown Atlanta. And so for two months I slept out back in a sleeping bag or on blankets or on cardboard. You know, it was pretty tough, you know, eating. What was the reaction of people? They look at you like, you know, it's like, well, like you bring it on yourself. You know, you're a victim of the society that we live in. I think people should help task force, or how they can help task force. They participate by volunteering. Um, churches do an awful lot as far as uh, donating food and assistance with feeding the homeless that, that do. This is the only place they have to go. So that's been happening a lot. There are a lot of agencies that have been helping out. And that's good. I think that more of our social network could get involved a little, just a little bit, you know. A little donation here, there, you know. A little here, it all adds up. Yes. So after a while. It will help. Yeah. All right. Thank you. My pleasure.